Extreme Trends presents A mother hides a recording device in her son's backpack and is disgusted by what she hears. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. They say that mothers know best. Your mother is someone who you can always depend on and will always be consistent in helping you with anything. We may turn to friends who may help us through some of our difficulties, but there has never been anyone better than our mothers. Our mothers nevertheless become our pillars, not just of faith, but also of strength. Mother being the supreme lover, loves her child like nothing else. A mother dissipates the clouds of darkness and causes peace to return to our hearts when we are helpless in the wilderness of life with her kind precepts and counsels. From the moment we are born till we are cradled in the chariot of death, we come across many relations. One great example of this is Melissa Davies. As a married mom of two young boys, Melissa Davis from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, loves her job because she gets to work with many horses that are trained to be therapy animals. But her 12-year-old son, Camden, really keeps her busy because he's a special needs child. Naturally, she's protective. She watches over him and she makes sure everything is all well. Melissa considered herself lucky when Camden got into the Greater Baton Rouge Hope Academy. Inclusion, encouragement, positive relationships, and recognition of student accomplishment. These are the things the school promotes. She was banking on the fact that the school could provide him with an environment that would help him succeed in school. Her expectations were high, however, as it turns out she was wrong. It happened one day when Melissa noticed unusual changes in Camden's attitude a few months after school started. He was more anxious, aggressive, and he was wetting his bed, which is something he had stopped doing when he was three. But when she asked her son if anything was wrong, he wouldn't tell her. But as a mom, she wouldn't give up that easily. She knew that she needed to do something right away. Melissa suspected that his odd behavior had something to do with his new school, so she paid Hope Academy a visit and tried speaking with the school officials, including the principal. She wanted to know where Camden's assigned seat is located and a few other things that didn't seem right. But the school wasn't very accommodating. She wasn't able to get something out from them, and that's when Melissa decided to take a different approach. Melissa placed a tape recorder inside Camden's backpack and sent him on his way. She was hoping that the device would give her some clues as to what was really going on at the school. She realized that her measures might seem a bit desperate, but since the school hadn't helped her, she didn't have any other choice. When Camden came home, Melissa was eager to hear what was on the recording. After grabbing the recorder from her son's backpack, she then rewinded the tape. She knew that she'd have to listen for several hours, and there was a good chance that there was nothing on the tape, and she was right, at least in the beginning. The audio device recorded the start of a typical school day. Then she heard a conversation that sent chills through her body afterwards. The next conversation was unbelievable. Melissa heard Camden's teacher getting upset with him because he didn't do a writing assignment. This might have been fine at a normal school, but children with special needs react differently to this form of discipline. Plus, the teacher was very condescending. She even mocked Camden as he attempted to talk. Melissa was horrified, but she continued listening, and she hadn't heard the worst yet. Melissa was stunned as she heard the teacher and her teaching assistant talking. There might be no children in the classroom, but they were obviously standing close to her son's backpack. Sadly, they were making lots of derogatory remarks about Camden. They even used swear words, and Melissa was in utter disbelief. From there, Melissa just wanted to cry, scream, and do something about it. Now that she had proof, Melissa went to speak with school officials, but once again, they dismissed her concerns. But this time, she refused to allow anyone to ignore her. Melissa automatically took Camden out of Hope Academy, but she couldn't let go of what had happened. She figured that the other special needs children didn't deserve these teachers who were so unprofessional. So she decided to do something that caught the school's attention. She shared the audio on Facebook, and it worked. The audio post went viral, which forced the school to finally do something. Principal Linda Stone made a public statement where she explained that one of the teachers was fired and the other teacher would be dismissed by the end of the semester. She also invited the Davis family to meet and discuss the issue with her and the other school officials. But Melissa had a better idea. Melissa hired an attorney named Charlotte McGehee. She wanted to file a lawsuit against the Department of Education. Melissa told the news media, no child should be treated this way. I brought this to light because I wanted my son to be the last kid that would experience this. 
This forced the school to immediately terminate the second teacher. Those who had seen Melissa's post congratulated her for taking swift action and for being the voice of children with special needs, while others also posted their personal horror stories of how educators abuse their children. Melissa was overwhelmed by the love and support she received worldwide. Camden was transferred to another school, and Melissa made certain that the teachers were professionals. It turns out that Camden's new teacher has a degree in special education and applied behavior analysis because she minored in psychology. Unfortunately, the trauma of Camden's experience by his former teachers continued to haunt him. Melissa believes that with some love and support, her son will become the sweet boy he used to be. Want to watch more inspiring stories? Tap one of the next two videos on your screen. And thanks for watching.